Well, okay, listen, first of all, hi. My name is David. It's a pleasure to be with you guys tonight. I really, I, I couldn't even, I can't even begin to express how happy we are to be a part of a night such as this. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> man, it's wonderful. It's just so wonderful. It's when the church gets together and we start singing, it's just about the best place on the planet. That's what I think. <laughs> Hank, and right before we came on stage, he's like, what's your favorite part of the night? And uh, I'm like, uh, that right there. <laughs> Y'all start singing. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. It's beautiful. Anyway, isn't that the best part? I like that. It's the best part. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta say this quickly. Um, so we had, uh, I had like a, a record come out uh, not too long ago called American Product. And I want to tell you a little bit about it. I like it a lot. Thank you for the five people also that like it. <clears throat> it's really cool to say so. Um, <laughs> no, really. That's not a bitch. Anyway, my mom likes it too. It's great. Um, anyway, here's the deal. I, so, um, y'all, have y'all heard, y'all y'all know the story of the prodigal son? You know that story? It's like one of my favorites that Jesus tells in the scripture, the, the parable of the prodigal son. And I'll tell you what, my whole life, it didn't change much from when I heard it for the first time in Sunday school when I was like, Little big kid, when they still gave you like, uh, you know, Kool-Aid and, and cookies. <laughs> when do you outgrow that? Who doesn't like cookies and Kool-Aid right now? I mean, why do they take them away? Oh, I'm going to church and having Sunday school. Give me cookies and Kool-Aid. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> so our my Sunday school teacher, when I was like a little kid, got cookies and Kool-Aid, uh, was Miss Pinnell, and she was like, I don't know, 106 or something like that. And, and she had a very large necklace. I don't know what that was about, but it scared me. She was, she was terrifying. I was scared of her. She was very terrifying. And she told us the story of the product of the sun. First time I heard it, it hadn't changed much until about two years ago. And I can sum it up real quick like this. Basically this. It is. Okay, so the son gets rebellious, runs away from home, spends all of his daddy's money frivolously until he doesn't have any more of his daddy's money to spend frivolously and finds himself in like a pigsty and he thinks to himself, well this stinks, that's a pun, and then he goes home and he meets his dad running down the road with open arms and like a party in tow. I'm like, mm, I can identify it, you know? That, that, I, I, that's, that's like the story of the gospel. It's a beautiful story. Is it not a beautiful story? It's a beautiful story. We all know what that feels like to not, I mean, to be, be in the worst place ever and then to know that you're loved and accepted by the Father is just, that's, that's the gospel right there, right? You know, it's beautiful. And then like two years ago, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I live now. And I'm at my home church and it's called Passion City Church, PCC. To be, or I'll, okay, I'll pass that one. And Louis Giglio is our pastor there and he's teaching. Right? <laughs> I tell him you said that, that's me. He's teaching on this, this passage of scripture and, he, and he's, he points out this, you know, every time that there's a parable in scripture in the gospels, it's always like a, like an italicized like title of the story, you know, it's like the parable of the prodigal son is all in italics. And he's like, that's when you gotta pay attention, be like, uh oh, he's about to tell a story. It's gonna be good. Somebody's about to be at the end of the stick, you know it. <laughs> and most of the time it's the church. Most of the time it's like people like me up here on stage. <laughs> anyway. In this particular story, it says, do you know this, that the word prodigal also means lavished upon. And from, it was like a light bulb went off. I was like, oh my word. It changed that story from one about rebellion to one of inheritance. And here's what I think is beautiful about that, is given our, our current climate and our culture and our, in our, in our beautiful country, here's what I know. Anybody that's got their feet on the soil of the United States of America, We've been lavished upon. Don't matter what side of whatever line you're on, we've been given a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I mean, here we are all together. It went in Jan 2017. We got air conditioning, man. I'm definitely like, you know what I'm saying? We have conditioned air. Plumbing. <laughs> Plumbing's important. No, I used it earlier. It works. It works. Everything I left went away. It's amazing. Lavished upon. And so here's what you have to decide. It's like, okay, how can we do the simple things that Jesus asked of us? Okay, love your neighbor as yourself. Well, what shall I do with everything that's been put in my hands? How do I do that well? And I think we've been getting us some beautiful options tonight. Hope, I mean, now our neighbor is like really close to us on the other side of the planet, you know, but it's just amazing. Anyway, 
that's all I got to say. Uh, if it's okay, can we have some more church and sing about this redemption and grace and rescue of God?